Welcome to the fifth episode on my tutorial series on the AVR framework. In this episode, I want to cover the movement options and the teleport options and how to set them up in our tutorial level. Um, so to get started, let's enable the settings palette in our experience object. For that, we go into our experience and the info objects that we set up in previous episodes. And let's take a quick look inside. And on the complete bottom, we have uh, our movement options. These are all the parameters that we can set around movement. And to have them accessible through uh, VR, we can open our radio menu and we can enable the, the palette menu. So now if we save and compile that and go inside VR. So here inside VR, we can see that we have our second palette menu available and this opens up some movement settings. We see that we currently have the teleport free movement active. That means if I press the A button on the right Oculus controller, it will enable the teleporter, which allows me to teleport anywhere. It doesn't re need any more requirements. It just needs to find a surface that it can teleport to. That means if I point it at a wall, it won't teleport me anywhere. Um, we also have the possibility for, for no teleportation, which means if I press the A button, it doesn't do anything. Um, there are two additional teleport modes which require teleport areas. We will set them up soon. Uh, at the moment, they just won't do anything. And each teleport mode is also uh, combinable with a rotation. That means if I uh, hold my teleporter and I rotate my hand, it will face me in that direction. This is a st uh, standard PS4 rotation. It doesn't require any more uh, any more buttons, and that's why it's quite useful if, if you don't have that many buttons available. Okay, so let's set up the other teleport modes and get out of VR soon. The other two teleport modes to work, we have to set up some teleport areas. For that, we go into Blueprints, Navigation, Teleportable, and pick ourselves up a teleport area. We can place that here. Just gonna make that like that. And I'm gonna create another one just for demonstration purposes. And going to place that just like that. Okay. You can also toggle the visibility of the teleport areas. I'm going to make them invisible for now because then they won't disturb us when, when we look at the level. And we can save the current and we can look inside VR. So let's open up our menu again. You can have the movement settings here. And if we now change it to teleport area select, we see that the teleport area appears just by hovering on the ground. And if we press on it, it'll teleport us there. It only appears for the teleport area that is actually selected. So if I don't uh, point at anyone, any teleport area at all, it uh, shows nothing. And if I point on the ground where the teleport area is, it'll make that one appear. And for the other mode, if uh, I point on the ground, it doesn't select anything. But if I hold down A, it will only let me teleport to the area. So if I release that area, uh, it doesn't take me anywhere. But as soon as I point on the ground where an actual teleport area is, it allows me to go there. So this is a very effective way to limit movement and to let the player only go where he's supposed to be going. Of course, all of these movement modes are again combinable with rotation. So if you enable the so rotation by hand, it will allow us to, to rotate in place when teleporting. So that is basically all to cover basic teleportation modes in our level. So to recap, let's look at the experience object. And we can see in the movement tab that we had our different rotation uh, movement and teleport modes. And here we have our teleport area select, teleport area activate, and free teleportation. All of them we, we tried out. Remember that all the teleport areas actually need teleport areas to go to. And we can also switch between the two rotation types, which one being the no rotation and one being rotation by hand.
And there are also some other uh, parameters that we can set, the teleportation time and uh, the amount allow teleportation movement. So there we can fine tweak a bit uh, of how the teleportation will actually feel, how much blinking time there is going to be between uh, the actual teleportation. And that is going to be all about uh, our teleportation functionalities. In the next episode, I want to be covering the direct movements. And thank you guys for listening, and I will see you in the next episode. Goodbye.